I'm Tony Hagen with Managed Healthcare Executive. Today, we're speaking with Tom Newcomer. He's head of Market Access US for Samsung BioEpis. We're speaking about Hadlima, an adalimumab biosimilar in low concentration and high concentration formula, which will be coming on the US market in uh, 2023. Welcome, Tom. Uh, good morning, and thanks for having me, Tony. Uh, so, um, first off, uh, congratulations on your Hadlima high concentration citrate free approval. Um, please tell us a little bit about this product and your low, low concentration version of the anticipated market entry for these biologics. Sure, sure. Thank you. Um, so I think we should probably start on with the low concentration. So as you may know, the low concentration for Hadlima was approved by the FDA back in July of 2019. Now with this more recent approval for our high concentration, that makes us one of the, the first company to have the high concentration approval and also the first company to have the low concentration approval. So we're going to be the first one to have both approvals. You, you may have read before or seen uh, in the other markets, the low concentration actually has been in several countries for the last couple of years. Um, Europe, I think it's, it's been out since 2018. Um, Australia, Canada, Korea as of last year. So we do have three years with a low concentration right now of post-marketing data available. Um, we're excited to now have these FDA approvals in the U.S. and look forward to bringing the products in the market on or after July 23. So you say um, this was the first uh, high concentration approval in the United States. Uh, uh, so we are anticipating quite a few more um, high concentrations. It seems companies are turning in this direction. There's, there, I think there's definitely, you know, the expectation that there are going to be several manufacturers to have a high concentration in, in the U.S. for sure. So I think you're going to see a mix across all the different manufacturers of different combinations, low, high, or both. So um, next year is going to be very interesting. It's going to be the first year for any biosimilars on the market uh, for adalimumab. And um, uh, that's starting from uh, absolute zero. So this is going to be quite interesting. Can you comment on your strategy for making Hadlima stand out? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I like the, the question. And I think it's what a, a lot of interested parties are wondering right now. What are the strategies of these products as they're coming to market? Probably the first thing I would note for Had Lima is the commercial strategy will be handled by our commercial partners, Organon. So Organon will be running all the commercial strategy for Had Lima in the U.S. As far as Samsung BioEpis's role with Had Lima and how do you make it stand apart, it, it probably starts back to one of our responsibilities in the process, which is the manufacturing process, the design of the product. What Samsung BioEpis has tried to do with Had Lima specifically is be very patient centric, you know, keep the patient in mind with this product. For instance, when we bring this product to market, as, as we just discussed, we'll have different formulations with the low concentration, the high concentration, which can better match, you know, what patients may be taking right now on the market. We'll have different um, delivery systems. We'll have the auto injector. We'll have the pre-filled syringe. So what we're doing is Samsung so BioEpis to concentrate on setting Hadlima apart probably falls in line with those areas. So getting payers and healthcare institutions on board um, in terms of their preferences when they've got so much to choose from is, is very important. Um, how, how quickly do you think that these decisions are going to be made um, and, um, and how, um, how quickly is Samsung BioEpis looking for and Organon looking for uh, results uh, in terms of um, uptake or preference decisions? We've heard a lot of various feedback on this exact question. Um, and it really differentiates depending on the area, the market, the customer. We've had some customers tell us they're going to wait until all products are out. They want to see where the price is established. You know, there's, they don't feel like the time lag between all of these agents is that significant where they can't wait to make a full evaluation. So they want to wait and then check price points. We've had others that have definitely said that they are going to move quick, that they want to go with one of the first options they have. Of course, the class is a major spend for many of the, the customers in the U.S., so they want to try to get an impact right away if they can from a cost differential standpoint. So we've had that feedback as well. 
And then I think with, you know, any new category or new products, um, market share, market share uptake comes into it. So we've had customers that said, wait, there's going to be a lot of you out there. We're going to wait to see kind of who can drive the market share, get patients over to their adalumumab biosimilar, and then make a decision after that. So we've heard various reasons, you know, why they want to go in each of those areas. A lot of it depends on the strategies of of the particular customer. Um, So we'll see what happens in 23 as the market unfolds, especially the second half of 23. As for Hadlima, our our expectation, as you asked about the long term, is that the market's going to gradually transition over time to biosimilars. So we think this is going to, you know, continue to move over. We feel that we will be well positioned. We know that the payers, you know, have a lot of experience with biosimilars at this point in time, whether it's immunology, oncology, now we're out in uh, ophthalmology. There's a lot of experience out there with biosimilars bringing benefits to them, not only in cost savings, but also, you know, overall accessibility of treatment. So we're looking forward to being in this for, you know, the long term for sure. 